He manipulates the facts of South Africa. He is a manipulator of fact. That's what that honorable member is. He writes to an alien agency in the United States, a paper known for its hostility, for its vilification of South Africa, and he, he slings mud at his own country. Pick Boda was and probably still is a thespian performer. He's an actor by, by trade. He, he, he loves to perform. I'm not sure he ever met an open microphone he didn't like. I think the, the remark that he never saw a microphone that he didn't like is a little bit unfair. Pick felt he was the spokesman. The people of South Africa needed to know, and, and so at every opportunity he would take a microphone and he would speak. Southern Africa is like a zebra. You cannot put a bullet in the white stripe and think the animal will not die, it will die. You know, there, there was the element of the actor in him. He had been a Shakespearean actor when he was at university. So it's partly true, but it's also a sense of responsibility. We saw an advertisement inviting applications for uh, appointment in the diplomatic and consular service of the Union of South Africa. And one of my colleagues, he jokingly teased me and said, Pick, we challenge you to apply for that job. I said, OK, uh, what is the bid? And he said, four beers. And this is how it happened that on 23 February 1953, I entered the Union buildings as a cadet in South Africa's diplomatic and consular service. Wie is ek? Een ruimtereiziger. Een passagier. Een dier. Een jachter wat dikkels miskiet. Een dief wat lieg en bedrieg. Salaris trekker. Groot bevoren. Afrikaner. Irrespective of the international consequences, we will not be untrue to our forefathers, to our beliefs, to our values. Come what may, we will resist these by diabolical forces. It doesn't matter what is the cost. The break of violent protest in the black townships around Johannesburg has left eight more South African blacks dead. Added to the violence which has caused 29 deaths so far in three days of racial violence and killing, which overtook a number of black townships. We are not going to accept one man, one vote. It means our destruction. We will not accept it now, not tomorrow, never ever. There was a dream, at least, to escape from the cruelty of apartheid by making black states independent, where there can then be presidents, cabinet ministers, judges. You know, it was almost like a dream, a dream in which one unfortunately believed in for too long because it became a nightmare. We're not perfect. Uh, we've made mistakes. There's still a large number of matters in this country that must be changed. Yes, we are willing to do so. Constructive change. After all, remember, Pug Buddha was the, um, uh, was the politician who, uh, in his maiden speech in Parliament, very controversially suggested that South Africa should sign the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This was in 19... 70, one or two. And those were the years of, of acute isolation, um, where it was very uncomfortable to be a, a representative of the government and specifically a, 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 an apologist for the government of the time. People often joked he was the Elvis Presley of South African politics, and there was always something about him that attracted people. I said, look, I'm later going to meet uh, my sweetheart, Margaret Thatcher. In that case, you better take roses for her. For me, quite an attractive woman. She had um, quite attractive breasts. I accompanied her to the, uh, to the uh, aircraft with her husband, Dennis. And at the steps, I presented her 
with the two red roses with Dennis breathing over my shoulder. He called me Pip by then. He said, just remember one thing. She's my wife, not yours. <laughs> well, a fire has a very deep psychological impact on the human mind. We psychologically can, can help you to bridge and get over points of difference. It is strange what that feeling of isolation of a little group of people together can do to you to open your mind to be to be more forgiving to be more prepared to see the other person's point of view and therefore to be ready to come to an agreement we were all guilty there were times that i also supported it don't think for a moment i'm trying to escape and say I'm not guilty. What I'm saying to you is inside your group, it took hard work and persuasion and persistence and determination to persuade your colleagues uh, over, over many years. But we did it. I think he's the, the one South African without whom our political evolution would not have happened the way it did. Because Pick for for 20 years was pulling and pushing and dragging and arguing and getting himself nearly kicked out. But he stayed the course, he stayed with his party and he brought them into an era which FW couldn't do on his own, PW couldn't do on his own. And I think if you were to take Nelson Mandela and Pickwood out of the equation, you don't have a democratic South Africa in 1994. And that's his legacy. Sierra Asperger